structure photography tips. While I'm outside in the wild taking photographs of Hunt's Tavern here in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, coming at you with a few tips about taking structure photographs. So I apologize for sound quality issues, but we are out here in the wild. Now my first tip about taking structure photographs of buildings that you might want to place on your model railroad or make a model of is take those pictures and take those pictures now. Uh, you never know whether you'll not come back to that spot or whether the structure will have been changed or completely removed. Another reason you should go ahead and take pictures is because this is the age of digital photography. You probably have a very good cell phone camera. So you have the equipment to take the pictures, take the pictures. Tip number two is take a lot of pictures. Every angle, every side of the building, um, and also take pictures of details. Uh, you may want to blow up pictures of the signage or manipulate those in some way digitally different from the face of the structure. So take pictures of signs, air conditioning units, plumbing, whatever is, is visible that you, you might, even if you don't think it's an interesting detail right now, take a picture of it. Now I am here to take photographs of this structure because I want to use the photograph to make the model. I want to use the photograph to create the front of the building, the sides of the building, and create the texture and colors for the building. And so there are some unique requirements there if you're going to actually use the photographs on your layout. Now the first of those is, the special requirements, is lighting. You don't want to take the photographs on a day when it's a sunny day for this purpose because you don't want shadows to obscure details on the surface of the building or give away the angle of the building in relation to the sun because you might have another building you want to put next to it and you took those photographs on a different day and so the shadows are going to be falling in a different direction and the eye of the viewer is going to tell them there's something wrong and it may look toy-like, unreal, unrealistic. So you want to take those photographs on a day like today, when it's a cloudy day, when it's a hazy day, when the sun is being diffused by the sky and the clouds are acting like a giant softbox, bouncing light all around your picture and eliminating a lot of those deep shadows that are a giveaway. Now you also want to take your photographs as close to a 90 degree angle to the surface as you can uh, because you're going to get distortions as things run away, you know, you're going to get perspective issues. You can also take multiple pictures of a wall. If you can't get it into your one frame, you can stitch those together and post. It will be work, but you can do that. Additionally, your lens selection, I recommend having a zoom lens for this work. I did this project with this, which is kind of my standard lens that I have on my Panasonic S1. It's a 24 to 105 zoom, and that's a pretty good range. Um, you're going to want to take pictures at close up to the building to eliminate anything that might be between you and the structure. Power lines, cars, telephone poles trash cans, whatever might be in between you and your subject, you want to get close up. However, that is going to create what's called keystoning, where the top of the building looks a lot smaller than the bottom. Uh, this too can be removed in digital uh, production. However, you can eliminate it optically by getting far away from the structure and utilizing a longer lens. Uh, the problem with that, of course, is you're going to get things in between you and the structure. The further away you go, and some of that could be humidity in the air. You might not get as clear a, a picture if you get further away. So do both. Again, take as many pictures as possible. The next tip is don't be shy. Don't be bashful. Don't feel weird about walking around a building taking pictures. Uh, first, legally, you're within your rights if you're on public property. So if you're on the sidewalk or on the street, no one can stop you from taking pictures. Don't let them tell you otherwise. And I've had people squawking at me. Too bad. You have a building that is visible to the public from a public space. You can take as many pictures as you want of it. Number two, don't worry about people. Don't worry about people. 
So, so what if they think you're weird, uh, they can't understand what you're doing? It's not important. You're never gonna see these people again. So take your pictures, you're not hurting anybody. And the owner of the store should be happy that you're taking pictures and maybe gonna make a video about it or you're going to make a model and people are gonna see it and wonder what that is and go to their establishment. So they really should be happy that you're taking pictures. Indeed, don't be afraid to approach the proprietor when you're done. You may want to take some shots of the inside. If the inside is visible from outside through some windows, you might want to take some shots inside and to help you build an interior on the structure in the future. Who knows? Until next time, Bob Johnson with PK&W Model Works signing off. Keep on modeling.